Good morning, everyone. Um, it's about seven o'clock on a nice Sunday morning, so I've decided to do this for you guys. I'm always up early, uh, even if it's a Saturday or Sunday, but obviously I might go to bed a bit earlier than some people. So um, anyways, that's not what I want to talk about today. Um, I actually want to talk about um, belly fat, because I've been having a lot of questions lately about um, what, the, what someone should do to lose a bit more belly fat. Um, they're leaning everybody everywhere else, um, but that belly is just not going down. I've even had girls that have been competing that have been asking me this, and it's, it's quite funny because usually girls that, are, that compete really understand that it's, it's not, you can't choose where you lose. Um, if you can choose, if you could choose where you lose, I wouldn't have a job <laughs> because it'd be so easy. Uh, do 500 reps of uh, sit-ups, you'll lose your fat, that's perfect on your belly, but that's not how it works. Um, when you lose fat, I'm going to kind of come back to basics, it's been a while, but when you lose fat, it's really the amount of calories that you eat versus the calories that you that you use during your day. So it's if it's through physical activity, at work, um, just talking, eating, eating burns calories. So there's all those things, not very much. Just I don't want you to think I'll just eat all day and I'll burn a lot of calories. Um, but uh, in that case, that's what's going to help you lose fat is to burn more calories than what you eat. When it comes to belly fat, it can be a lot of hormonal as well. So it's not just the amount of calories that you eat and versus the calories that you burn. Um, it can have an impact. Stress can have, a, have an impact which increases cortisol hormone, which is known to have a bit more fat around the belly. Some people say that if you have more fat around the belly, you're a bit more stressed. I can't believe, I don't say, okay, you have fat around your belly, you're stressed, because <clears throat> some people just hold more fat um, in the abdomen, some more in the thighs and the hips, um, but mostly men, you'll see mostly men are around the, the, the waist. Um, you rarely see men that have a lot of fat on, in the lower body, although there are some, but the majority is about in the abdomen. So what to do? Um, I will give you some tricks. There's no fit solution. Obviously, if there was, everybody would know what to do, and that's it. Um, the only thing that, that comes and impacts everything is that everybody's made differently. If I lose fat through the abdomen by exercising and eating healthy, um, somebody else might do that, and it absolutely doesn't work. Um, I've had an experience with the competitions where I've increased my cardio, I was eating less, so technically I was burning way more calories, but nothing was budging. My body was just like shut down. It's like, no, you're doing too much, so I'm just, I'm stopping you right there. Um, but you have to realize that exercise does create stress on your body. Stress increases hormone of cortisol, um, which increases belly fat. So, you know, sometimes when we say too much is not enough, this is where I say too much is not enough, and I have the experience of that. In the last couple of months, I've been working a lot on recuperation. It's been really hard because um, I am somebody that loves to work out seven days a week, but my body has been talking to me, and it's really not fun, and I really don't want to live this again. So um, I'm really looking at recuperation, and when you recuperate, that's when you build muscle. That's when your performance enhances. So the more the performance will go well, obviously the better you're going to lift, the more you're going to get results. So, in my suggestion to losing body fat, <laughs> belly body fat, I'll get to the point. <laughs> um, exercise, eat healthy. What do I mean by eating healthy? Every little extra food that you eat makes a huge difference. When I compete, and I've had this mentality for a long time, and it's really hard to get out of, is I eat really well all week, except one day I have a cheat day. Well, cheat meal, not a cheat day. I cannot do a cheat day. I cannot. I don't know where to stop. So I have a cheat meal, but that cheat meal is, can be huge sometimes, you know, you have an entree, you have your full meal, then you have the dessert, maybe a glass of Caesar, a wine. Those calories go really fast and it can go up to 1,000, over 1,000 calories for that meal, but you've burned about, what, 1,000 calories, you're trying to get that difference of 1,000 calories during the, the week, even a bit more, but that brings everything down and your weight loss is just staggering and every week you'll go down a bit of weight and then you'll come back up after the cheat meal, just go down a bit up, and you're going to just plateau by doing that. So I suggest 
that you try and eat healthy seven days a week if there are little extras. So what if you have a bag of candy that's 200 calories? 200 calories is manageable. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 calories on that day of extra is a little less manageable, okay? So don't exercise too much. I suggest interval training, so short workouts. Really good idea. Short workouts, really intense, so high intensity, <clears throat> come back lower. High intensity, lower. That's gonna increase heart rate, obviously. It's gonna shock your system and you're even going to burn more calories after you work out, not just during. So I suggest this. Um, I'm going to just do another capsule right after just because this one's getting a little too long, but I'm going to continue talking about this, about interval training and fat loss, and uh, trying to get the maximum of your workouts without having to go for an hour or two hour run. Okay? So I'll be right back, and uh, I'll keep talking about this. So with that said, see you soon, or have a good day. Bye.